All right, today we're gonna talk about hair shapes because hair shape is everything. Everything about hair shape can make you feel like you wanna relax again. A good hair shape can make you feel like Rihanna. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is staying safe, staying clean, staying inside. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. So before we get started today, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. It really, really helps me out so, so much so that we can keep this channel going. And also you'll be notified every single time a new video drops. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk all about hair shape because hair shape is everything. It is so important. It can seriously like make or break your relationship with your curly hair. Honestly, a bad hair shape or a bad haircut can take you to very dark places that I would never wish even on my worst enemies. So today I'm going to be going in detail about some of the more popular hairstyles that I've seen and kind of explain what you can expect from each hair shape, how much it needs to be maintained. Like we're getting into detail about everything today. So if you're interested in hearing about all of that and getting your life together, then just continue to watch. So y'all know the basis of my channel is to provide quality and valuable information in order for you to keep your curls healthy, happy, and popping. Because at the end of the day, when you have healthy curls, you have happy curls, and when your curls are happy, the girl is happy. But today we are moving kind of past those products and talking more about haircuts and hair shape because hair shape is absolutely everything and I will probably say that five more times in this video so there are different things that you should consider when you're thinking about a new hair shape so you should definitely consider your face shape you should consider the overall look that you're trying to go for and you should also consider the level of maintenance that you're willing to put into your hair so let's just get straight into these hair shapes so the first one that I want to talk about is my all-time favorite and it's super short with tapered sides so this is basically how I started out my natural hair journey. I had so much fun with this style. As y'all know, my journey started with a big chop and honestly, I would not have wanted it any other way. So my big chop was very tapered towards the sides to the point where she kind of like used a barber razor, like what they use on the men, to kind of shape up my sideburns and everything and get it all low cut. And I think the tapered side looked really, really cute. So tapered sides is something that is super trendy, super chic, and very sharp. So if you have sharp features and you're looking to kind of play on that and keep something that is sharp, trendy, and like boss gal vibes, that is the look. As with any super short haircut, this is like super low maintenance and super quick and easy to style every day. There are other cuts out there who do a much more drastic tapered. So you can see here in this picture, the sides are like super short, but then the top is still got like a good amount of length. So for these styles with a more intense type of taper, it's important to note that if your goal is to grow out your hair eventually, it will be a little bit more difficult and awkward to grow that out. Versus my cut, which was still tapered and still had that same kind of style, but just not as dramatically tapered as our previous photo, it was, I personally found it super easy to grow out. It kind of just grew out into this like layered style, which we'll talk about next. Another great thing about shortcuts is that it really accentuates your facial features. Like you can see in these photos that you can see so much more of my face, like my jawline. So if those are features of your face that you actually love and want to accentuate, then I would say a shortcut really might be the look for you. If you are a fashionista and you love big earrings and you love like statement jackets and like trendy clothes, like a shortcut will be amazing. So really, if you are willing to sacrifice your length and just go for something different, go for a big change, a shortcut is honestly amazing. I personally know for sure that 100% I will be going back to that maybe in my 30s or so, but yeah, I absolutely loved it. The one thing to consider is if you do wanna grow your hair, it will take time and it may take patience depending on how drastic you go with that taper on the side. All right, so the next style that I wanna talk about is my current style, which I like to call mid-length layers with bangs. So honestly, off the bat, I have to tell you that bangs are super high maintenance, and the reason for that is very simple. They grow like wildfire. I don't know what it is about the front part of your hair, but oh my gosh, I have to cut this like once a month, and honestly, you can probably see now, it has been, ages since I've cut these bangs and I just have to be like scrunching it up, pinning them up just because I haven't had time to get to a hairdresser. 
So if you're someone who maybe doesn't have like a personal hairdresser that you can zip in and zip out of all the time to get it cut, or if you're like me and not comfortable with cutting your own bangs yourself, just know that it is very high maintenance in that regard. But one thing I do love about this style is that it will look good at any length. So if my hair were longer, I could still have my bangs and look cute. Like my personal goal is to kind of just continue to grow my curls. And the way that my hair is layered with these bangs makes it very, very easy to just continue to grow out in this style, in this way, and it's perfectly fine. So on one end, it's like these bangs are just really annoying to keep cutting, but on the other end, it's like, it just can continue to grow like this and not look awkward or weird at all. Another really cool and fun thing about bangs is if you have a big forehead or if you are just sensitive about your forehead in general, they cover it completely. Boom, gone, disappeared. So if you have like maybe a more elongated face, like a more narrow, long face, and you kind of want to shorten your face a little bit, bangs are a really great way to do that. They're also super trendy and chic, okay? And they photograph amazingly. One more thing to know about this style is that if you are like me and you kind of decide, okay, you don't want bangs anymore, the bangs themselves can be a little bit awkward to grow out, especially if my hair were longer and then I still had these really short bangs. The length difference between the two would just be so much longer and then again, a little bit more awkward to grow out after a while. All right, so on to the next one. I want to talk about that heart-shaped, V-shaped kind of look. So the thing that I really, really love about this look is that it is so versatile. You can do so many different things with this style. You can swoop your hair to the side. You could do middle part. Like you can do anything. It's a very trendy and simple style that's very flattering on majority of face shapes. So if you're unsure about all these different hair shapes, this is definitely a really great place to start. I really personally love to see this style on thicker, more super curly hair, kinky and coily hair like mine. I love the way that the shape just gives it so much volume and life and just body. I just think it's so beautiful. So this is great for the person who likes a low maintenance style that she can switch up on the daily. Cause I mean, this look without the bangs is like so versatile. You can do braids in there, side part, middle part, swoop over on one side, swoop the other side the next day. Like you can do so many different things with this. And if you like to have fun and get a little creative with your hair, then this might be for you. All right, next let's talk about that oval shape. So this shape has to do with some very drastic layers. This will kind of frame your face very nicely if you have like an oval shaped face, kind of like me here. This style is a really great way to add some volume to the top but then still keep that length underneath. I personally kind of love to see this on girls with slightly thinner, more looser curls because again, it'll add that volume for them at the top, but then it still looks nice and long at the bottom. So it's like, shoot, I got volume and I got length. The one thing to be mindful about this is that if one day you kind of just get sick of the layers, it might be a little bit difficult because the layers are so drastic and might look a little bit awkward and you might have to end up chopping a little bit more off of that longer piece in order to start evening it out. I also want to point out that for people with hair like me, so like type three, type four, that's like more coarse, more big and like super curly, kinky, coily kind of thing. This style can sometimes end up looking really choppy on us. So just something to point out there. And honestly, I feel like this works best with mid to more long hair. All right, and then the last shape that I wanna talk about is that round, beautiful, gorgeous shape that kind of just looks like a fro, like a beautiful shaped, flawless fro. I love to see this style, especially on my type four girls with super short hair. I think like a nice round fro is so cute, so elegant, so clean. So this works best with the short to mid hair that have a lot of volume. So I think that if your hair is slightly more thin and doesn't really have much volume, this cut wouldn't really do much for you. Um, but when you do have that wild volume and you wanna work with it, a round fro is so stinking cute. I think this looks really, really good on majority of face shapes as well. And it's pretty easy to grow out. You can very easily just let it continue to grow, continue to get big, 
and it'll still just always look beautiful. I will say though that you might not be able to get as creative with this style. So if you are a person who just kind of likes the same thing every day, nothing wrong with that because that is me. But if you're like that and you just want to wake up, fluff, and go, this is the kind of hairstyle that will work well for you. If you prefer to experiment with different hairstyles on the daily, then I would suggest maybe a different hair shape for you because I think this shape just looks good as it is like that one round fro is the best way that it looks and it is timeless honestly it works for all seasons and it just looks so bomb so those are basically the most popular hairstyles that I've been seeing around today I really really hope you found this useful if you did go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up if you have any further questions for me go ahead and comment below and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so and after you can check out two more videos right here Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.